Gamers, it's Kristen and I have a review video for you today. It has been a long time since I have sat down to do a review video like this. I'm really excited about this one. So if you have never been to a foundation review, which is what this is, as you can tell by the title, video of mine, first of all, welcome. Second of all, I use a five point system. There are five different categories. Each category can get up to a point or no points, depending on what the situation is. Uh, and so then I, I have done a ton of foundation reviews. Sometimes I do them with a friend of mine. Um, she's super busy right now, so we haven't been able to connect. So, um, so and sometimes I do them on my own. I will, I will, I'm gonna try to make a playlist and list it below. Otherwise, feel free to just search my channel for foundation reviews, and a lot of them will pop up. It's been a little bit since I've done one. So let's just go ahead and jump into this one. This is a review for the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Long Wear, no, Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. I have been using this for a very long time, now a couple of months. I'll actually try to look up when I bought it because I started using it right away and hopefully I've listed that for you guys to see how long I've been using it. I say that because no shade to first impression videos, but I just don't feel like first impression videos give you a lot. Um, uh, other than, uh, oh, I kind of like it today. You know, I, I just feel like if you try a product for a much longer time and then bring a review, you get a better feel for the product. So that's what I try to do when I'm doing um, any sort of review is, is actually use the product, you know, more than one time and then I bring a review. So having said that, let's go ahead and jump into this review. This sells for, it sells on Sephora. I think Sephora is the only place you can get it. And it sells for $35 and it is, I was gonna look this up, I forgot, 1.08 fluid ounces. So your standard amount of product. I feel like that price is really good for what this is, just as a side note. I feel like it's really reasonable. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I think I will cut to me applying it for you guys to be able to see that. And then we will come back and talk about, you know, the, how I feel about the rest of it. All right, so far I have just the Becca First Light Priming Filter on, and then I also have my Kapari Starry Eye Balm, if it looks a, a touch more dewy underneath there. <laughs> that would be why. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I do like a pump and a half. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, I'm sure that I said it already, but you know, I always film this part before, oh, here's the brush, before, and um, I can't remember what it was. So I'm in the shade 150. Now, I do feel like this shade was a touch better match for me a little bit earlier on, before I haven't seen the sun in a while. But <clears throat> all in all, it's a pretty good match. I'm gonna flip my flip my mirror here so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I have applied this with both Beauty Blender and um, this uh, uh, Flat Top Kabuki. This is the one from Beauty Junkies. And um, the Beauty Blender just, just as well of a job. I j it's just a little bit, as we all know, it's a little bit more of a sheer application and I like a little fuller coverage. Um, but you can see how it just, it's just amazing. Oh, if you know what I forgot, I'm a little out of practice, you guys. Normally I will do half my face and let you see, but hopefully you were able to see before I switch to the other half, the amount of coverage that, that gives. And it doesn't, you, you, <laughs> spit out your words. You can't like see it sitting on the skin. I just, I'm just, well, this, the reviews part's at the end, but I like it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm a big fan. So then I'll just take, I have a little bit left on my hand. I just take a little bit left. I always like a little bit more coverage on my cheeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just add a little bit extra to my cheeks. I've said this before a hundred times. I prefer to do like thinner layers and build up the coverage. There sure you go. Get your ears and whatnot. I'm not pulling my hair up today, I don't think, but. So there you go. Hopefully you can see, let me move this away a little bit so it doesn't blow it out. Um, just really nice coverage. Apparently I had to fix my hair too. 
All right, so as you guys can see, we'll start with the coverage category. I gave this a full point for coverage. You can, on the website, it says that it's medium to full. I even think you could, when you use a beauty blender, it's a little more like a sheer or a light coverage. I, I feel like you can kind of run the gamut with this, and as you build it up, it doesn't start to look cakey. I, I really like that. I have built it up with um, the flat top kabuki brush that I showed in the, in the demo. I've built it up with a beauty blender. I've used my fingers when I forgot my beauty blender on a trip and didn't have um, a flat top brush. So I, I feel like it applies well no matter how you apply it, which is not the case for most foundations. So it's I find that very interesting. Um, by the way, I bought this myself. They have no idea who I am, just for the record. Okay. So for coverage, I'm getting, giving it its full point. Um, for, let's talk about color range. I think I had talked before, before. It sells for $35. This comes in 50 shades. That is really good. And, you know, one of the things that Fenty is known for is being, you know, is covering a full, you know, I, I, I hesitate to say a full color range because there is always somebody that's not going to match exactly, but they have a huge color range and you, you are hard pressed to find, um, to not find a shade that will work for you, I think, within this line. So I gave it the full point for color range as well. Um, packaging, I, I like it. It's a pump, which is awesome. You'll be able, because of the, the container, you could cut this open and get the rest of it out when you are ready. It has the, as I showed in the thing, it has a, a pump. So right there you can get, I, Absolutely works for travel because it's plastic. There's nothing fancy about it, but I don't need there to be anything fancy about it So I gave it the full point for packaging. So um, finish That's that's in the next category for me and it is a very natural finish. It's not matte. It's not uh, It's not even set. It's just I don't know exactly how to explain it. <laughs> I guess I would call it a cross between a satin and a matte, but I do have a highlight on today and I did set it after I showed you that with the um, Hourglass Veil powder. I didn't add any more coverage. A lot of times I'll top my foundation with a powder foundation for a little more coverage. I did not do that today because I wanted you just to see the coverage of the foundation you know, as, after I came back. So. It really has this natural, even, doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup finish. It's not glowy, it's not matte, it's just right in the middle and very natural looking. I, I love it. I have, and to, you know, to speak to how much I love it, I've been using it here at my vanity and then I pack it and take it when I travel. And for those of you that, that don't know, I, I'm gone all, every other week and at this point it's almost every week. So I, for me to, be, I, and I have a whole separate set of makeup that I take when I travel and I've been moving this in and out of that because I just really, really like it. I took it um, with me when I went to Phoenix and it worked just as well in that drier climate as it did here when I had it early on. We are into drier climate now here in Wisconsin, but earlier when it was a little more humid, it worked just as well. And that, you know, this is gonna move, so I gave it a full point for finish. And then we are gonna move into longevity. Um, this is amazing longevity at least i would say 10 hours before i start to see a little bit of breakdown but i have worn this when i went when i flew out to phoenix i had it on for 22 hours i think before i took it off if i'm remembering right and it was definitely starting to break down but it was still pretty solid for 22 hours of wear. They don't have a timeline that they claim that it works for. They just say long wear. It absolutely is a long wear foundation. And I'm giving it the full point. I'm fairly certain this might be the first foundation that I have given a full five points to. I can't think if there's another one. Maybe Pro Glow. I can't remember. But I love this foundation. I cannot recommend this enough. And oh, sugar. I normally try to say at the beginning of the videos, I am dry. I'm 46 years old and and dry. And I'm actually a little bit extra dry right now because I have been definitely slacking on the amount of water intake I normally have, you know, in my day-to-day -day life. And I can feel the difference in my skin and in my like my lips are getting drier and that sort of thing. So 
and, and this doesn't look, it doesn't look dry on my face at all. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that it brought some information to you. If you have any questions of something I left out, please leave it below and I will answer you as quickly as I can. Um, I, I, like I said, I cannot recommend it enough. I really, really like this foundation. It has definitely moved up into the number one slot for me as far as foundation. So, all right, on the rest of my face today, in case you are curious, I have for blush, I think I tossed that, yep, I put that away. For blush today, I have the Bare Minerals Blush in Blur, Bounce and, no, it's the Bounce and Blur Blush in Blurred Buff. Say that five times fast. For highlight, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie, the have Dior Amber Diamonds as my highlight today. Um, on my eyes, I have the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. This is the palette that came in the Boxy Charm. I think she has a full size palette, but this is the mini one. And I used um, these shades here, these warmer shades. You can probably tell those are the ones that I use. And then on my lips, I pulled out a Jouer Lip Cream and I think you say Cerise Noir. Um, it's C-E-R-I-S-E -E, and then Noir. So I have that, and then I added a little bit of Skinny Dip, also from Jouer Over the Top. And I think that that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope this was helpful. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.